Welcome, parents and caregivers, to the Year 10 into Year 11 Parent Information Session. My name is Lauren Smith. I'm the Greenhouse Leader, but I also oversee the Year 11 level. Alongside me in my team is Natalie Madden, our Senior Leader, Keegan Taylor, our Yellow House Leader, Brad Stubing, our Red House Leader, and Lauren Buswell, who oversees our Learner Wellbeing, but also our University Admissions. We also have Cadre, who assists us with our VET programs, Mr Peroni, our Aboriginal Education Teacher, who assists us with also our SASTA, and Ashley Golding, who supports our Inclusive Education programs. The South Australian Certificate of Education is a qualification that will give your, your child or young person the skills for further learning, work and life post school. It is accomplished over two years, stage one and stage two. Stage one is usually associated with being a year 11 subject. Stage two, usually associated with being a year 12 subject. However, as you may know, your young person has either completed PLP or is in the progress of it, which is a stage one subject. Next year, your young person will complete research project, which is a stage two subject. Both of these subjects are compulsory and need a C grade or above to be successful. The other two compulsory requirements are literacy and numeracy. Your young person needs to complete two semesters of literacy, two A, C standard or above, and one semester of mathematics. Alongside these compulsory subjects are other subject choices which are tailored to your young person's interests or needs. At a stage one level, students can achieve a grade between an A and an E and will get their SACE points. Alongside this, we recognise that students may be learning outside of school and we want to recognise them for these efforts. Your young person might be completing an umpiring course or a community service event such as a Duke of Edinburgh's award. We also recognise school-based apprenticeships, TAFE courses and VET courses. So if your, your young person is currently completing work outside of school, I would recommend seeing your year level leader or cadre to get some recognised learning credits. As you can see, your young person will achieve their compulsories by the end of next year. We have in yellow our PLP, sorry, in green our PLP, in yellow our research project, our 10 numeracy credits, our 20 literacy credits, and the other blue is the rest of their elective subjects for next year. The yellow subjects are for year 12, and that will be something to talk about with Brad Stubing at the end of next year. Normally course selection would have occurred this week. However, due to COVID, that evening has been cancelled and replaced with some course information videos. These are available on our school website and social media to access. Alternatively, you can access the 2022 course handbook, which is located on the school website as shown here. The year 10 to 12 course handbook is also available on the curriculum link. The Year 11 course card. Your young person has already received a course card from their home group teacher and may have already began filling it out. The first step is to fill out their compulsory subjects, their literacy and their numeracy. On DAMAP, there will be a letter with the recommendations for the suitable level for English and mathematics for your young person. They may be recommended to complete essential English or general English. If you'd like your young person to pick essential English, you only need to tick the box. This subject will run for the whole year and there are no subject choices for it. However, if your young person wishes to complete general English, they do get an option and must rank their preference one to three for each term. There are a range of options for your young person in mathematics. If they just want to get their compulsory maths, they can click on essential mathematics for one semester. However, there are other options such as general mathematics, mathematical methods and specialist. 
These can be completed up to a year 12 level or stage two level. The remainder of subjects are completed for your electives, which are found on page two. There are a variety of options for science, HPE, arts, DNT, and HASS. I strongly recommend having a conversation with your young person about the pathway they wish to go down. If it is an apprenticeship pathway, I would strongly suggest considering the DNT pathways to support your student to, to develop the skills they will need when on the work site. If your student has a specific university course they wish to apply for, I would consider looking at the subjects that would really support them when they leave school. For example, whilst biology isn't a prerequisite for nursing, it would strongly support your student in their first year of university. If your child or young person wishes to consider a VET pathway, there is a grey box available to tick and we can have a conversation with Kadri in the future to discuss those options. When considering VET pathways, it's important to note that in 2022, the VET programs will be changing. And I recommend speaking to Ms Bartlett or Kadri for further information on the future opportunities. Our learning conversations and course selection evening will occur in week five on Wednesday. This is a pupil free day and your child or young person can organise meetings between 1pm to 8pm with the home group teacher. Course selection cards do need to be submitted on that evening and it is essential that they are brought to facilitate the conversations. To book an appointment, you can access this website and a code will be released via school social media at a later date. If you are unsure of your future pathway, the first place I would go is to have a conversation with your PLP teacher or home group teacher. You would have completed, your child would have completed a My Future survey, which gave them a list of recommended careers. There are other career quizzes, such as this one from the Australian Government, which may also help them understand their work style and su suggest some career options for your young person. Alternatively, the TAFE SA website and the various university websites give a lot of information on their available courses. If you have any questions, feel free to contact myself, Mr. Taylor, Mr. Steubing, Ms. Buswell or Kadri to get some further information. Good luck and I wish you all the best with your course selection for 2022.